So is it audible? All of you? Is it audible? Can one or two persons chat me? Is it audible and audible? Okay. Um, only ten or sixteen members have joined. Only sixteen members join. So in the previous classes, we are discussing about queues, circular queues, D queues, double-ended queues. Three types of queues we have seen. It is general queue, that is linear queue, general queue. And our next one is circular queue. Next one is double-ended queue. Three types of queues we have seen. And at the last, we will be seeing the last type of queue known as priority queue. Okay. Can anybody once uh, give me a message? Is it audible and visible? Okay, now in this class, we will be seeing the priority queue. Okay, so I will, I will share a screen so that you can understand the things. So, um, So you can see the thing. So general queue, you can see the general queue in which insertion and deletion will be done. Okay. I think it is hard, is it visible? Insertion and removing insertion will be done at the rear, removing will be done at the front. Okay. That we have, we know. But there is a small difference compared with the uh, general queue and priority queue. So what's the difference you can see here? So priority queue is more specialized data structure than queue. Like ordinary queue, priority queue has some method. So, like ordinary queue, priority queue has some method. But what is the major difference in priority queue? Items are ordered by key value. So that items with the lowest value of the queue is at the front and item with the 
highest value of key is at the rear or vice versa anyway highest value will be kept at the rear uh, lowest value will be kept at the rear and highest value will be kept at the front so we have uh, we have assigned priority to item based on its key value lower the value higher the priority so that is the thing based on the priority i will insert and delete that is the thing but previously in the near queue what we are doing just we, if i want to add any element it will be added at the rate just that, that is it if i want to delete anything it will be uh, deleted from the front but in priority queue it's not like that see what is the difference you can see now once we, we will see see we are going to implement a priority some of the functions which we use you see peak peak function get the element at front of the queue is full check if queue is full is is empty check it empty uh, queue is empty that's that's also okay now see insertion the main two operations which we should be careful in priority queue compared to linear queue are two two functions insertion and deletion so how i will insert so whenever an element is to be inserted in the queue priority queue inserts the item according to its order whereas in linear queue just i will add at the rear that is at the last at the at the back side of the queue just i will add there but in uh what we call uh, uh but in priority queue it's not like that i will check i will check the item which i want to insert according to the priority and and i will insert according to that one according to that so you can see here so see you can see the function if is full q is if q is empty insert the data you will check by using the function is full if it's if it is not full i will uh, see that i will insert the things if q is empty insert the data if item count is equal to 0 int array of item plus plus is equal to data if item gate is zero that is in the there initially there are no elements in the queue then i will insert else see here you have to understand so oh, one minute i will take the example so that you can understand the things see this is the this is the program no? you can see here see initially i inserted three so what will happen one minute generally what will happen see no one minute index 0 1 2 3 Okay. Right. Now, when I inserted three, what will happen? It will be inserted here. Okay. Generally, generally it will insert it here. Now, again, if I want to insert five, what uh, generally what happens in general? Uh, if if it is a uh, linear queue, in general, I will be adding here. If again, if I want to uh, add anything, what will happen? Nine, it will be added here. Okay. If again I want insert, it will be added here. one. So insert three, insert five, insert nine, insert one. Now guys, again insert twelve. Here. 
we can see here zero one two three. So in general linear queue, this should happen three five nine one twelve. But you can see here what's happening here. It's a different thing in the priority queue. See first three is inserted. So how it will happen? This is a linear. This is the linear one. This is linear queue. Whereas here. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. So first what I want to insert three. So it was kept there. Again, I want to insert five. See, because five is having least priority. So where we should where we should insert before three. So what I will do? I will move three to the next spot. And I will add here. So more the value, least the priority. Least the priority, I will insert at the last point. That is, it will be deleted at the last thing. So highest priority will be deleted at the first. So you can see here. Three. Again, uh, what we call, again now insert nine. So I will charge here, I will see here, nine. Nine is greater than five. So what I will do, it should be inserted at the front only. It should not be, it should be inserted before three and five. It should be inserted before three and five because nine means it's having highest preference. Uh, nine means it is the value is high, so it's lowest preference. So it should be deleted at the last. So what I should do, I should keep before three and five. Is there anything problem? Okay. So I should insert before that one. So what I will do, see here. I will move three and five, one step to the next, and I will add nine. Okay, so next. Next I will be adding one. I should add one. So I will compare the things. See, one means what the value is least. One is less than nine. So I will move to the five. One is less than five. One is less than three. So least value means highest priority. So it should, it should come after three. So I will insert after three, so one. Okay, so that is it. So you should see. Again, now I want to insert 12. See, 12 is highest value. It is greater than nine. If, we, if, if the item which I want to insert is less than the item already on the front of the queue, I will be adding at the rear. I will comparing from starting from the front and up to rear, I will be comparing. And according to that one, I will be adding. So. So 12 means what? 12 is greater than nine. So it is having least priority. So what I will do? I will just move one to the next step. Three to the next step. Five. One minute. See. 12 is. So like this. So what I will do, I will move to the right like this. And I will insert 15 here, 12 here, okay. So like this, it will happen. So for example, it is not 12. For example, it is two. For example, it, I want to insert two. Insert two. So what I will do? Initial, for example, like this. It's the. It is like I want to insert two. So first I will compare nine with two. So uh, two is 
less than nine. So I will move to next element. Two is less than five. I will move to the three. Two is less than three. So I will move to the next one. Two is greater than one. So I should insert before one. So I should insert before one. So what I will do? I will move one to the right side and I will insert two here. So that you have to understand. Like this, it will happen. If I want to insert two, but in our example, I am going to insert 12. So what the thing is, so previously it is like that. So 12 is greater than nine. So automatically at the first point only, I will insert. Now, insert 15. Again, 15 is greater than 12. So I, what I will do, I will move Okay. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, fifteen. So that's the answer. So it will if so in a linear queue, if I insert, what's the values? Three, five, nine, one, twelve. One minute. If for example, if I insert by using this priority queue. What, what is the value of the queue? 15, 12, 9, 5, 3, 1. So that's the basic difference you have to understand. So you can see here. This is the value. So you can see here. So this is the queue. This is for linear queue or general queue. This is for uh, what we call uh, priority queue. Okay. This is for so this is the difference, basic difference. Okay. Now, for example, uh, what he's doing is. For example, the size is uh, here, the size is six. If I take the size as uh, seven, for example, seven. For example, seven. Now, if I want to insert something like six, for example, this is the answer. Now, at this point, I want to insert six. So, what I will do, I will compare. I will compare six with 12. Six is less than 15. So, I will move to the next step, next uh, element. I will, we will compare six and 12. So, it is uh less than 12 so i will move to the right i will compare 6 with 9 again 6 is less than 9 again i will move to 5 6 is great 6 is greater than 5 so i will stop here 6 is less than 9 i will move to the next step 6 is greater than 5 so i will stop here so here i have to insert this point before 
in between 9 and 5, I have to insert 6. So the value of 6 or 7, which I want. For example, 7, seven element 7, I will. So I want to insert as 7. So what I do in the next step, I will move 5, 3, 1, one step to the right. Like this. So in between this, I will insert seven. In between this, I will insert seven. So I will, in the first step, what I will do, I will check element by element, starting from the front until the rear, where I should insert the element according to the priority. So how I will do, how I will know the priority where I have to insert, I will compare each element in the queue starting from the front with the element which I want to insert. If it is, if it is, uh, how do you call, less than the element in the queue, I will write, move to the right words. If it is, uh, if it is greater than the element in the queue, I will stop there and I will insert there. Before inserting, what I will do, all the elements to the right words, I will move one step in the queue to the last. So there I will stop. So you can see, so I can, I think most of the people you have understood. Okay. So in general, if for example, seven is there, if I want to insert, see in the same thing, seven. So I will insert here. No, six, 15, then. okay. 15 is there. Delete six seven. Is the okay? You can see here so this one is one. So this is general queue. If I want to, if I if I insert it like. Uh, starting from 3, 5, 9, 1, 12, 5, 15, 7. If I insert it by using priority key, this is the thing. 12, 15, 12, 9, 7, 5, 3, 1. See, in a descending order, they were arranged. That's the main thing. That if I insert any element in a priority queue, it will be arranged in a descending order. Or you can take as an ascending order. So in one order, they will be placed. Generally, now, what the thing, what the example we are saying is, they will be placed in a descending order. That's the thing you have to understand. So priority queue, all the elements will be uh, uh, inserted according to an order. Based upon the priority, they will be inserted. Okay. Whereas in general queue, nothing is like priority or order or increase, ascending order or descending, or nothing like that. Any element if I want to insert, just I will insert at the rear. Any element I want to delete, I will insert at the end, so you can see. Text friend, this is this is red. this is fun. This is red. so I will insert just by incrementing rate in general Q. But here it's not like that. I will compare and each element with the element which I want to insert, and I will insert according to the ascending order or descending order of the priority that was given to the value which I want to insert. Okay, so that's why one thing, just in one word what I can tell is, in a priority queue, the elements will be inserted in an order. 
it may be ascending or descending so you can see in the example also in the already given example also you can see 0 1 2 3 4 12 9 5 3 1 15 12 9 5 3 1 okay so they will be placed in a order so now if i want to remove now just i want to remove an element so two things here if i want to just remove an element by default what will happen the element at the rear will be deleted so one will be deleted so one will be deleted now, otherwise, if I want to delete, for example, five, if I want to delete five, so one minute. So what I will do? By default, if I don't mention, one will be deleted. One will be deleted. So you can see here the example that was given here. Previously, 15, 12, 9, 5, 3, 1 of here. If I just re have written remove data, just I had, didn't mention any element, any value. So, what I will do at the rare point, one is there that will be deleted. So, what are the things in the queue? 15, 12, 9, 5, 3. Okay, these are the things on the Okay. Uh, but another thing is there if i mentioned anything if i mentioned for example remove seven for example uh, remove seven so how it will be done so remove seven so for example here at this point i have given remove seven so what it will be done so this this will happen I will remove seven at the same time. I will move five, three, one, all the elements which are having less value or highest priority to the left side. So it will become 12, seven, nine, five, three, one after removing seven. So that is removing an element which I mentioned. I mentioned seven. So I mentioned seven. So what will happen? So if I first I will delete seven and just I will move all the elements to the right to the left, one step left. So it will happen like this. After removing seven okay whereas in the here whereas if you take this like what we call uh, general queue if i tell re remove i have no option to mention any element i have to uh, remove as particular element or remove uh, some seven or just i have the option of just delete or remove just remove means i will delete just seven yeah. at the last or the rare the element at the rare part just i will delete that one just that that will happen i have no no options but here in priority queue i have options if for, for inserting i have option for deleting i have option i will insert according to the i will insert an element according to the priority uh, in, in the queue and i will uh, for deletion i will delete an element according to the priority okay so that's the key difference so one uh, two differences what are there all elements will be in an order whether in a descending order or ascending order based upon the priorities in our priority queue whereas in general queue it will not be there they, they will all the elements first come first serve. that is first which is which comes first will be inserted first first in first order previously we have told no in queue the, in one word, if I want to tell about first in first out, first thing which will be inserted first, which will be out first. So in that way, it will be inserted. Whereas in queue, 
it is not like that they will be inserted or deleted according to an order so at the at any point of view if we see the priority queue there is some order of elements so you can see here. you can see the live example 3 5 9 1 12 15 these are not in an order whereas if you see the priority queue 15 12 9 5 3 1 so it is an order that's a basic now we will discuss the program okay this is the concept now we will discuss the program so you can see here the example also in the program which you can see so uh, insert 15 is full see here he just remove data he called remove data so he, he had mentioned he didn't mention anything so automatically one will be deleted next again insert 16 so what i have should do insert a insert 16 is greater than 15 so all the elements to the right of the 15 are greater than are less than 16 so what i should do i should move all the elements one step to the right so 15 12 9 5 3 are moved to the right side and 16 is kept at zero zeroth location so you can see here now as q is full i can't insert more elements if i tried for example insert 17 and 16 17 and 18 i can't insert there i can't insert there so you can see here printf index 5340 and the q while e is not empty remove each data and print so i want to print all the elements in the data so first see first if i want to insert anything 17 and 18 what, what i have got q is full next one minute so previously here i removed the element no i printed that one element removed is one so i got in the output one element removed is one so next element at the front is how i will get the element at the front just by calling peak the element at the front of the queue i will how i will get by using by using tell me by using seek function peak function by using peak function we peak will give the element at the front of the queue see here in our in our example also if i am adding you know, what we call one one what we call one is there no okay so here so you can see here so now print of index 53210 so how i will be printing until empty n is equal to remove data and i will print that one so what is the values so the at zero oh. see he he just he has done some mistake he see this should be this should be we should print at index zero 16 should be there okay okay same thing okay, okay. cut 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 so at the same thing, index 0, 15 is there. And again, they inserted 16. They deleted one. So one minute. In our example also, they have deleted 16. 3, 5, 9, 12, 15, 16. So again, if I do remove, it will happen like this. But here, 16.
Okay. So at zero eight location, sixteen is there. See, he printed in the reverse uh, type. Just if if it is printed like this, it is good. From zero to five, if I printed like this, it will be good. But he printed as the reverse. So five, three, four, three, two, one. Least value will be having highest reference. In that way, he I think he moved like this. So five, four, three, two, one. So three, five, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen. This is the output. You can see here, here also. 16 15 12 9 5 3 okay. but whereas uh, in our general purpose if i uh, in if i removed one afterwards if i inserted any element 16 and i if i delete any uh, at the same time after inserting 16 which will be deleted no one minute so one minute one minute so initially, for example, in our linear general purpose, if I see this, this show you, you can uh, distinguish, okay? So one minute. So three, five, nine, one, twelve. Next to what I have inserted, 15. Now I want to delete an element. So which will be deleted? In general purpose, if I give, uh, if I want to delete anything, which will be deleted? Three will be deleted. So the element at the front will be deleted. Okay, you can see here. So this will be deleted. So afterwards, uh, again, if I want to insert in some element 16, where it will be inserted? At the rare part. It will be inserted at the rare part. Okay, at the rare part. Now, if I want to insert further, what will give? It is a, it will uh, it will also give the cube is full. So you can see here. So you can see. So at the final part, what is the value of general queue? 5, 9, 1, 12, 15, 16. Whereas in priority queue, 16, 15, 12, 9, 5, 3. This is the value. So now we will go to the program to understand this one. The whole the whole concept we have understood by using some example. Now we will go to the program part. Okay. So here you can the general queue three is deleted because it was inserted first. The first element will be out first. So whenever I want to remove an element, three will be deleted. And I want to insert 16, it will be added at the last part of the queue. So we will go to the uh, program to understand that. Part. Insert data. Now you can see here, insert data. Is full. If Q is empty, insert the data. If Q is empty, I will go to insert the data. If item count is equal to zero, if item count is equal to zero means there, the initially the Q is empty. So what I will do, I will item count plus plus in that one. That means in the array of one, I will keep some data. Okay. In the array of zero, in zero only, I will keep the data and then I will do plus plus after Inserting, I will do the increment. Okay. Else, if it is not there, some item count is greater than zero. That means what there are some elements in the queue. So then what I will do for i is equal to count minus one, i greater than or equal to zero, i minus minus. So how I will know first I should know how many elements are there in the queue. According to the number of elements in the queue, I will be moving from left to right, that is from front to by using uh, the the, uh, the point of front to the right board. See here. See, see here. In the next step here. See. If data is if the data which I want to insert is greater than int array, then what I should do? I should move all the elements one step to the right. So you can see here int array of i plus one is equal to int array of i. This, this this step means what? 
moving the elements one step to the right. So that is the there. Else, if it is not there, break. So the data which I want to insert is less than the integer. So previously I have told, for example, if I want to insert an element. So what I will do, uh, uh, I will compare, for example, here you can see five, nine. For example, I want to uh, insert something like, uh, what we call, you can see here, in the example you can see. Okay, anyway. So you can see now this shape you have to understand. If data is greater than int array of i, what I have to do? I have to move the element, once all the elements next to the int array of i, one step to the right. So that way, that's why you have seen the previous one. One minute. You can see here. Okay. So, for example, yield. So initially, three is kept here, for example, three. Now I want to insert five. So five is greater than three. So what I should do, I should move one, three to one step to the right. So what I will do, see. Here. Array of one is equal to array of zero that's the thing so in array of zero three is there i will move to the array of one so what it will happen it will move like this. so now what i will do i will insert again i will check if it is not the now the count is only one so i will not enter the loop so i will break come come outwards now what i will do int array of one plus zero i plus one is equal to data. So what I will do? I will insert here the value which I want, okay? So you can see, now you can see. So that's the thing you have should do. So i plus one. One minute. So that is the thing. So that is the thing you should understand. So moving to the right, if the element which I want to insert is greater than the element which is already there in the queue, what I should do? I should move the elements after that element one step to the right. So how I will do? By using a loop, by using loop in which the function is like this, int array of one is equal to array of zero. So that is the thing. That you, this step you should understand. Afterwards, I will insert the element which I want to insert here, then it's like this. Okay. Okay. Now, removing the data. If I want to remove the data, just what I should do, just I will remove the data from the right side. So what I will do, for example, count is equal to three. Um, for example, here count number of item count is two. Now I want to delete an element, which will be deleted, three should be deleted. So what the, how I will identify the element? How I will identify that one? Item count, 
minus minus uh, item count is two so minus uh, so minus minus item means is equal to i will do minus before so one should uh, uh, one should understand what do you mean by minus minus count and item count minus minus so anyway i will be discussing next in the ne in the next step but now see minus minus item count means it will become one so at so which i should delete so int item print array of minus minus the array of minus minus count means what it will become array of one so in array of one which is which is the element three is there i will delete the element three okay. i will delete the element three so that so that's why it is written like this so here you can see remove data if i just mention like that it will be done like this so remove the data so uh, finally what will happen for well, the priority queue we have discussed first we have discussed the concept and we did next we in the next step we discuss the program logic so i think all of you have been understood that one the basic thing is the basic difference between priority queue and linear queue is the general queue or linear queue is in general queue and linear queue the insertion will be done at the rear and deletion will be done at the front we have no choice to delete any particular data or data. we have no choice to insert the data at a particular location or we have no option to delete a data from a particular location but as in a priority queue all the elements are inserted according to the priority the elements also will be deleted according to the priority so at the at any step if we see the elements in the priority queue they will be in ascending or descending order they will be kept in some order because based on the priority only i have inserted based upon the priority only i have deleted okay that is the main thing so today i will end at the session so chapter 2 is over so stacks and queues queue are over so in the next class we will be starting pointers and linked list okay